dinner inside a dock station, that's what they call it. Then just put the cheese on the beju. We call it the Emperor's Duck. It was it is a variation of a very traditional recipe we have in Malay. It looks not the most appetizing, but it's supposed to taste better than it looks. This little plant is jambu, and it's what makes your tongue get a little tingly feeling. Okay, so we just took a nap. Uh, of course, after we had the acai, we had to take a nap. Just like you told us, people get very tired after they have acai, and then you get the energy boost after, which I guess we have now. <laughs> the nap was much needed, but now a few hours later, we are going to be eating again. That's what a lot of people do here in Belém because the food is so good. And we're going to be eating dinner inside a dock station, that's what they call it. There are a lot of different restaurants in here, and this is historically where Belém used to store their rubber and latex. They are known for the rubber latex production. Let's go eat some food. Look at this guy playing music. He's on a platform that was actually part of the process of making the rubber at this factory. So we're at Estacion Dos Tecas, or the dock station, and it is full of restaurants. This place is huge. This is the dock where they used to make and produce rubber. And now you can see, we've been walking for a little while, and it is just all these different restaurants. A really cool vibe that I've never seen before. It is all along the river. There are cheaper restaurants, more expensive, so anyone can come here. Right now we're seeing a bunch of people just sitting along the river, on this dock, eating dinner. And it's gorgeous. Look how beautiful this is. Excited to try some more food. These restaurants are supposed to be very good. We're gonna try some new foods from Belém, some new Amazonian foods. Turtle to eat? Yep. It's like a turtle on a plate. <laughs> no, Not a big turtle, the meat. The meat, the, meat, the turtle. Okay. This is what people eat on the small islands and small, more what small districts. This is made, this is called Beijing. It's a recipe we made. It's like that uh, a toasted uh, manioc flour, okay, but very thin. And the idea is you grab one, of, one bit of this, mix with the cheese, yeah. and knead it. It's very good. The, mi the mixture between the beiju and the cheese. Yeah. You can use a little bit of the inside, put it like this. Just go for it. Just eat. So these here are beiju. And they're made with a uh, manioc flour. Look at that. So we saw earlier with the acai, you, ever have, you either have the tapioca flour or the manioc flour. So this is made with the other one that we haven't had so much. Then we have some buffalo cheese and some kupuasu jelly. So you use the beiju as kind of like a cracker for the cheese and the jelly. So, choose one. Grab the cheese. Yeah. Wow, that's really moist and soft. Just, just yeah, dip just, it in. Just dip it in. Dip it in a little bit. Oh, more. Oh. Then just put the cheese on the beiju. <laughs> it kind of melts in your mouth. That cheese is outstanding. That might be a favorite cheese in Brazil so far. Yeah. Buffalo cheeses are always good. And this is crispy, salty, it's like a chip. That's really good in itself. And I was thinking of something 
which things I came across that goes along with and this just I'd say this is one of the best things I've ever tried in Brazil. It has the perfect crisp and that cheese amazing. There's too much to explain here with all these new foods that we just got, so Victor is going to explain a few things here. Alright, so this one is the, uh, we call it the Emperor's Duck. It was, it is a variation of a very traditional recipe we have in Berlin. It's duck cooked in the sauce, in the tukupi sauce. Right here we have a risotto made with rice, cooked into a, a reduced tukupi sauce with jambu leaves and the pieces of the duck. Here we have the manisoba, is it, uh, another traditional recipe we have here in Berlin, made with the leaf of the manioc, okay, uh, and then we have meat, we have sausages on it, we usually eat those with rice. Here we have some farofa with banana, and in here we have the marajoara fillet, it's a piece of, of meat with marajoara cheese on it, with a risotto of rice and manisoba. Thank you. Yes. yes. He does a much better job. <laughs> a little bit of rice. A little bit of manisaba. So I told you, it's, it doesn't have like a, a nice look to it, but the flavor... Let's give this a try. It looks not the most appetizing, but it's supposed to taste better than it looks. Very salty. Very rich. Huh. Interesting. So this is like a regular sausage. They just so put it in here. So it's not that like weird. Yeah. It's just a leaf that makes it look like this and usually they wow. put they put in pork chops, they put sausages, they put meat. We just so now I'm going to try Emperor's yeah, duck. Okay. It's basically a duck meat, some rice. And at the top here, this little plant is jambu. So this is what we had yesterday with the cachaça, and it's what makes your tongue get a little tingly feeling. So we're gonna have a little bit of that mixed with the rice and the duck. And then you'll see a little yellow sauce in this, and that is tukupi. Okay, so a little bit of everything. Let's try Emperor's duck. It's hard to explain with all the flavors coming out. With the jambu, you just get an extra flair. Something I can't explain. Yeah, you really it's, can't it's the whole experience. It's not just the flavor of it. It's the way it feels in your mouth that makes it amazing. starting with the seed and it's very pure. So we're going to be trying a white chocolate with Nutella, 30% cacao, 50% cacao, and 70% cacao. So let's start with the white one. Mm. I love Nutella. So this first one, the white one, it is sweet. It is similar to a chocolate we would have at home. Probably more similar to that than the rest of these. Now let's try the 30% cacao. Do you want any of this? No, no. 30%. So as we go, we'll taste more and more of the cacao flavor. So the higher percent cacao, the more bitter, probably less sweet. I'm liking this one too. 
we'll probably have more to say as we go because we'll be comparing them as they go. This one isn't really comparable to the first one because that one is much different. For these ones, the percentages are going to go up and up. Okay, this next one here is 70%. We're going up in the percentages, and this one is a sparkly golden. <laughs> this chocolate's unique because it has a bit of a golden sparkle to it. Yeah, just because they sit on the on the sun, oh. so he has discolorated oh. a little bit, but it's fine. Okay. Wow. This golden color happens because it sits in the gold case and the sun hits it. All right. Nine, ten, 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 ten. This has something on the inside as well. It's like a nut butter, like a peanut. Do you know what that is on the inside? O cinquenta por cento qual recheio? O de 50%. Amendoim. Oh yeah, it's 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 peanut butter. Peanut butter, yes. Mm. So this one is different yet again. It has a little bit of peanut butter in there. It's not as hard as the last one. The higher yeah. percentage of cacao that you get, you get the true flavor. And it's interesting. Sometimes you'll get the cacao nibs in there, so little pieces in there to give it a little bit of texture. That's something we don't get at home so much. No. Chocolate at home does not taste like this. This is special. You gotta get used to that. At first I didn't know if I liked the little textures in there when I've had chocolates like this in Brazil, but I think it grows on you and then you really want it. Okay, let's try the last one. 70%. 70% cacao. Oh. Very hard. Yeah. <laughs> Oh wow, mm. that's very different. Hard to bite into. It's got a dry, bitter flavor. So now the sweetness is almost all gone. You get more of the taste of the cacao. So this one has the Brazil nut in the middle. Very good. Really fun to try chocolate from this region because it's totally different than what we're used to. That was awesome trying all of the traditional food from this area of Paris State. Now it's time for dessert. We're going to an ice cream place and this place has the best ice cream in all of Brazil. Apparently it's been awarded for that. We'll see if it lives up to the hype. because we love it and acai is from here we're doing the acai and tapioca mixture mm. that is awesome there's some kind of texture in there is that from the tapioca yeah. it's like yeah, tapioca, tapioca pieces yeah. this, you remember the tapioca flour that you put on the you acai it's like those yeah pieces. it's the ice cream oh. of tapioca flour and mixed with the ice cream of acai Okay. Two flavors in one. So yeah, you get the texture like the tapioca flour that you usually put on top of the acai. It's in there. Very good. Next we're trying corimbo. Brazil nuts. What cupola soup? Aqui tem dois cupolas e dois cupolas. Vou pegar um e dividir logo. This is the Brazil nut mixed with cupola soup. It's got a very sweet flavor. That's oh good. wow! Yeah, yeah it's really good. This is the most traditional flavor said, of Cairo. Yeah. yeah. Taperaba. Okay, this next one. This is Taperaba, aka Kaja. This mm. is a fruit we've had many, many times. I just had the juice of it with dinner. One of my favorite new fruits, I think. That's a favorite for sure along with acai. Okay, we've got a few more here. This one is bakuri. Also, I tried this juice earlier. The juice didn't have much flavor. It wasn't that sweet as a juice at the restaurant, but this is gonna be a little sweeter because it's an ice cream. Much better as an ice cream than as a juice. Sweet, great flavor. Reminds me of maybe like a chiri moya, something like that. 
Which one are you training now? Ferrero Rocher. The hazelnut chocolate. Ooh. I think I found the one I'm gonna get. Okay, last one I think I'm gonna try is Paraense. So this one is tapioca ice cream mixed with acai. So they have one that's kind of mixed but still separated, so you can have a little bit of tapioca, a little bit of acai. There's the straight acai, and then this one is a complete mixture, so you get it all together and it just gives it a little bit more of a tapioca flavor to the acai. You can choose what you think. Okay, this one tastes the most like acai as we know it, as we've seen it all around the rest of Brazil. That's what this tastes like. It's like the acai we were having when we got to Rio. It's good. Ah, we got a awesome dinner. Very good ice cream. We are stuffed from this day. We've been eating all day long. We were eating all yesterday. We're just eating too much here. So tomorrow we have a lot more to show you guys. More than just eating. So look forward to that. We're gonna get some rest today and we'll see you in the morning. Good night. So as you guys know, we put out videos on YouTube. We put out as much content as we can, but we can't put out everything on YouTube. We also have shorter video clips and photos that we can't put here. So if you want to see more, follow us on Instagram. Lindsay Travel and Alexander Travel Bomb. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this one, click one of these. And subscribe right here because we're traveling all around the world and we're sharing the whole thing.